can get the, some impression like how the data is look like. So I have some some in data sets with the coordinate points. You see, this is the information you need to restore or you need to digitize. You see the informations like when I did server side test, I will show you how is it done. How is it called polygons? And then it's the start points, and its polygon has a four points. You see the end points and last point, first point and last point is still the same. So this is now one of the simple example. That means this is the coordinates is, is, is a string coordinates points. And then we take the import coordinates points from the web forms, where you digitize it and send to the your forms in the specific field, like in geometry type fields, and convert this string point as a geometry and put it into the into the database. That's the idea. So this is most important. This is the three line. Uh, and uh, this uh, eight line of code is is too lot, and is I I need to prepare this line of code. It need take couple of month to to get it really really functional, because if you try to to transform any type of geometry, it, this is the function is transforming any type of geometry. If it's a points, it transform is a point. If it's a lines, a lines. In the multi lines, multi line. Multi polygon, polygon. What any combination, even the circular, even circles, you can do. In ellipse, you can do also this transformation. Just you need to record your coordinates points from the maps. That's I have it. And then we transform this coordinate point as a string. And then we store as a this coordinate string points as a geometry and geometry stored to the database. That's the idea. So this is the really, really important part of the implementation call. So we get we get the coordinates from the form, we transform the geometry points and get the geometry and set what the projection ID is it. Because this is the standard all across the country, all across the world. So four, three, two, six. This is the as yes, I uh, geo spatial reference ID and we transform we set we, we have a geo object with, as I said in the into the in the definition of the form in the models and set the geometry that means this is the transformation get the coordinate points and transform to the geometry and set this geometry into the database geometry format that's here is you can see very clearly uh, this is the geometry column and this is a geometry object. So this is the column name, exactly the same name, and this is the binary format, how the post GI is stored information. This is the information that you, you already posted you into, into the your record form, into the record files, into the your web, web forms. So you digitize it and put it here, and I take this coordinate points, convert the coordinate point into geometry, store to the geometry here, and after that, all the processing into them in the visualizing the map based on the column geom column based on this one not this one even though that's i said in the presentation you have all the possibility even though you take this string value and the javascript browser you iterate this string value and build the the the, the array of points and generate this point into the map directly so both possibility you go this way we call these columns and iterate through this builder the 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 rep string and build the respective array into the javascript form if you are an open open layer map you have to build this way or if you have a leaflet or a different way or I mean, yahoo api or any any other api then you have to be formatted like this way what's next i will show you how it's done but it's a core part is here the geometry is store is here so all geo processing is done from here so your geometry is stored in the geom column and type of geometry. When you put it the geometry, I that function that I said is checked what type of geometry is it. So it it gets the geometry. Okay, I get the geometry and I check it. Is it what type of geometry is it? If it's if it's point, then it's stored in the points. If it's line, line is a multi-line, multi-line. It's polygon, polygon is stored automatically. And here is the converter. So it's, this is the that I said. This is our our points, our coordinate points. It's in store into the in here this is the, our our input but it's uh, dynamically we didn't put it here nothing we just put here we just convert this one and to make is it as a real geometry and then we can do the geo processing task that's hibernate special did so now okay okay have geometry we 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 because we said it's a multiple uh, one 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 plot has multiple geometry info we said the geometry data is from here and then we add the geometry info 
uh, in geometry info into the our geo info and then after that we we save the geometry info into the our plot info and then pass it the geometry info list into the list because it's only one single entry if you have multiple then you need to multi iterate through this one after the settings the plot has a multiple geometry infos and then after that they you can set the geometry object into here and then at end of the day and you you just save and fresh the your object so that means plot has a own entries of information that you pass it here and then you add, you add your geometry object to the plot and store uh, and set this the geometry object into the plot list of geometry objects into the plot sorry and then you plus set the plot and that's all so our other part is the same nothing happened but just only difficulties only complex part is here this line of code do everything all the geo processing part i said this is the most important converter most important geo processing job is done here so you need to be carefully look for this development and then carefully think about how can you model it if you have a other projection system maybe in india or pakistan even though or usa or germany or canada then you need to put here but in general i said in general this is the standard all across the country in the world so if you have you put this coordinate system the reference system then in a later you can do anywhere any projection system maybe bangladesh itself has a own projection system then you can convert it in the in the school level in the in database level even though in the geo server can handle those those those, those transformation but in general they need to handle this way so that means the only the complexity is here part other complexity is nothing special here just everything is same but only the geo part your part you need to store you need to transform this function as exactly the same thing i did it here exactly the same thing we need to implement those those complexity and we call it our geometry and we get the geometry and then other part same nothing just when you try to save it then you need to process or transform your your recorded coordinates points as a string you need to transform as a geometry and from the geometry or the geometry need to be stored there and from the geometry we need to categorize we check it what type of geometry is it and then store to the to the your, your backend server in the database database server that's the special one this the same thing is here this we we plot it we get the coordinate point from the waveform and transform it geometry and put the all respective information that's the city country and postal code and house and the house number road type and so on so forth and that's the information because we already define our models how is model look like and how it has to be model handle the project plot implement implementation and the address information this is the, the nothing there is no um, no 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 geometry information this is very simple just you do your crude operation even though here is also that you are doing crude operation just in the saving case you need to extend or you need to implement your geometry to handle or to store into the into the backend server <coughs> so here this transformation that i explain you a little bit here so was here the transformation uh, a class the static class the static method so it's just the input and then okay that's that's already explained so our so now we we'll model definition done deposited is done service definition is done now uh, with service implementation then now we need to define our all the controllers means resource definitions so be, be careful so we are spring mbc models so our model definition done our deposited definition our crude operations is done our service and service implementation is done now we need to define our services to be explored as a resource as a controller controller need to take over the our functionalities so we need to that means if as a single phase application or combination of the single phase application then you need to each of the model has own controllers there's nothing special just we define our controllers and request mappings so every url when you come to the, our, our project url and then you use a registration url then you can do this way so use a registration show user registration and then 
and you get by using